We are live from Marty Snook Park on a bit of a delay. Just finally got the equipment set up. Top Gun in the darker gray. TMT in the more silver-esque colors. Let's go gray versus silver. Pass up on a fire. Incomplete. We're on a delay. Did not have the equipment set up properly, but uh, we are live in the first quarter. Score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Top Gun's first drive with a three and out. TMT on offense in the silver and red. Based out of Winchester, Virginia. Top Gun in the gray and blue. Based on the I-81 corridor around uh, the Hedgesville, Inwood, Martinsburg area. Snap. Gonna run to his left. And is he gonna get the first down? Yes, he is. And he's still going. And a first down run. Or third down. Sorry, I just got in the game myself. Should have probably waited for the queue there. Third and seven, so the referee's going to mark it. TMT last season. Won seven games. Preseason number three here in the Washington County Flag Football League. Going up against the... Hey, we came a long way, didn't we? Yeesh. Yeesh. Welcome, everybody, to another episode for the Why first time. Kind of, kind of annoyed, that? Kind of annoyed? <laughs> How do you think I feel, man? I got to hear this every single time I speak. That's nuts. Good evening, everyone. For the first time since June, Washington County Flag Football Live is back. The new episode, this time focusing on this upcoming fall 2022 season. I'm your host, Joey Blaze. Joining me tonight, as always, is Ross Collins. That's me. Yep, that's him. And Ross, let me tell you, I'm excited for this upcoming weekend in the Washington County Flag Football League. We got some interesting uh, games coming up this season. There's a lot of action. Let's take a look at some of these teams. And you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's put the Zoom link in the invite. Copy the invite link. Let's get it out there. So that Oh, a hey, reminder. If it doesn't work, put it in the browser. Whether it's Google Chrome or your Apple, whatever the Apple uses and all that. Safari. Safari. There we go. Safari, Edge, any of that stuff. Go ahead. We'll give it a shot. But, Ross, let's talk about last season in the Washington County Flag Football League. Remember last season? I do. I made a couple games. You did. What a wild ride 2022 was this past spring in the Washington County Flag Football League. Out there now, Brandon Field. DuPont Soccer Randy. Complex, sir. Yes, sir. Make a random right out there in West Virginia, and you go back this road past this like machine shop type thing, and uh, you go up over the hill there, and then bang. For some of There's us, it was, for some of us, it was a tough trip, but for others, it was just across the street from where we lived. In the case of Leroy Langley, came back this season after five years gone from Washington County, but now we're in a different setting. Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Back again in Greencastle for the first time in three years. We're in Greencastle this upcoming season. Yep. Remember the last time we were in Greencastle, Ross? I do. That was a wild season. What yeah. a spring 19, that man. Might, that might have been one of the wildest seasons of all time. By far, easily. You got to remember <laughs> that the, the, the Warrior season alone, you guys at the beginning of the season were just a garbage team. And then by the end of the year, Tyler comes aboard. A couple other guys come Justin aboard. Fox. Judd comes aboard. Justin Fox, to name a few. To name a few. Alex Dude. Foster as well. And all of a sudden, this Warriors team, Foster. Shades of Beer, came aboard as well that spring season. All of a sudden, the Warriors were on a whole other planet compared to where they were prior to that. Right. However, what is the Warriors these days? What are they, really? Uh -oh. What is any of these teams of this upcoming season? Let's take a look at what we got. So, last season, the teams we had 
Death Row Demons, Be Misfits, good. Top Gun, Champion, Killer Bees, the Champion Demons, Cram. Give them respect. Can we give sorry. credit to the Cramley? They went on a run. They unified the KFFL and county titles between Demons and Cram Central. That core unit on both sides took the championship in both leagues. And because of that, we got a merged champion. So it's a merged season. Not returning are the Death Row Demons, technically speaking. They'll be out for this season. That core, though. The core will be there. You'll see a good bit of the core there. It's with Cramp Central. Also out, the Misfits. Isn't that a weird one, man? I was looking forward to seeing the Misfits come out there for this upcoming spring season. We still got them repping here. Shirt jerseys are falling all over the place. We got a barrage of display. We do. I don't know how this got so high up there. That's weird. What's that noise? Ross, go check that out. Don't sound too good. Let's fix the couch. There's the Warriors shirt all messed up. Uh, boy, oh boy. You can tell I'm in preseason mode still. It's week one, I guess. It's the first show in a long time. First actual show I've done, really. Set of, set aside from me just sitting across from you talking like we're at a restaurant or something. It's still lit here in the garage. Like we're at a restaurant or something. Anyway. Just a casual, weird conversation. I don't know. I'm out of words to say. Misfits, they're out. They'll be at home if I fail this fall. Looking forward to seeing how to do down there. A lot of good competition going on down in Baltimore this fall on Sundays. Misfits are going to be in a very, very tough predicament. They're going to opt out of Saturdays. You might see a couple of their players pop up, but they'll be there Sundays in that full Misfit uniform. Uh, Top Gun, they finally folded for the final time, we would believe. If all rumors and speculation is true, um, Killer Bees, Chaos, Warriors, however, all three of them are back. Also back are the X-Dogs. First time the X-Dogs would be in Washington County since the fall of 2019. And that's crazy to think about because that was 80 yards last season. That's how long it's been since the X-Dogs were in Washington County. Fall 2019. To put in perspective how much has changed, ADR is not a thing anymore. But that was the last opponent the X-Dogs had in Washington County until 2020. I'm skipping a year. See where my brain's starting to forget stuff over time? But it was misfits they played instead. They did play 2020. Sorry about that. Two years. They weren't there last year, but they're back this year, the X-Dogs. Long-standing tradition team in Washington County Flag Football League. Um. But they're going to come back to a much different league than the one they left in 2020. Remember that season? It was Showtime, Misfits, Tri-State Spartans. Those three teams were there with the Dogs in the semifinals. You also had along the way with them, Ruckus, Broadax, Warriors, the program, Pure Chaos. Out of those nine teams, take a look at what it is now. Showtime, they're not playing nine, man, technically speaking. Showtime's out playing five and sevens and eights and wherever they can trying to get in those non-contact styles, making a lot of work. We saw Showtime make a run, actually. Last time we checked, I believe, was last year when they were doing work in uh, the AFFL tournament. They got all to the semifinals, even got on CBS. Yeah, the X-Dogs played in uh, so. The last three seasons, actually. Going back to the spring of 2021, where, crazy enough, the X-Dogs have been in the thick of things there, too. Runner-up in Keystone in the spring of 21. You know, semi-finalist last fall up there. Had a tough game with the Wolverines. Top Gun will never die, ne just never play again. Never say never, Gary. Never say never. We might have like a 35 and up tournament one day for five man or something. That'd be fun. Something for us old heads to do so we don't get beat up too bad. Not too much running, though. 60-yard field minimum or maximum. Sorry about that. I'm flubbing a lot of lines tonight. I'm already up for six. This ain't good. I feel as inept as Brian Kelly's offense at LSU. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to stop. I won't go any further. But looking at Washington County this upcoming season, look at the team list. But you talk about it. It's the last time since the X Dogs have were last in the league, like I said, Showtime's playing non contact, misfits. They're still in Washington County, so to speak. You know, they're not going to really ever leave, leave, just not play some seasons maybe. 
Uh, they're down in Baltimore, as mentioned. Tri-State Spartans folded, which I still think to this day that was a team that should not have folded. If I'm going to be honest with you. They had too much success in that spring to just give up. Yeah. And to have guys drop off like that. Um, Ruckus has since folded. Warriors are still around. Chaos is no longer pure. They've gone full evil. They've signed a deal with the devil himself, TJ Williams. <laughs> Oh, shit. Chaos sold their soul to TJ. You said that, not me. Yeah, I'm, what am I going to say? It's a deal. There's a lot of benefits to TJ. He's going to turn around your offense right out the gate. Ask the killer bees what he did when they lost everybody to chaos. Right. But wait, are they getting everybody back? Devin's back, potentially? Vontae's back. They just keep like is BJ back too? What are they doing though, bro? What is Can going? We talk about that. Let like, me tell you the, the complicated ordeal. Remember, this was I've a, never seen their shit like that, bro. This is I've never seen it before either. Like, wow. it's like it's like a weird reset, wow. man. I don't know. I don't know, Ross. I don't know. Or is it the TJ thing? They're running from TJ. He went to bees and ran away. He goes to chaos. They go back to me. Well, like you would I, think. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Someone calling it from one of the. Uh, Someone's got to explain. I don't it. even know who plays for who anymore, to be honest. Completely honest with you, I haven't been following along that great to even know who plays for who anymore. Oh, those fit. two teams, the Bees and Chaos. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, my guess is they swap teams with the exception of a few guys who probably went to other teams. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. It's real weird. <laughs> you don't remember the time you and the railroad swapped uh, players? I mean, swapping players is like one thing, I guess. I don't know. I'm only playing for the Warriors, really, so I don't. That, to me, like it just travel, adds a whole know. other dynamic to this rival. Maybe know. the next step is like both cores just say forget both teams and form their own team. And then those two teams find new guys. And then it just cycle continues for the rest of eternity. Chaotic bees. They should all just join forces. Chaotic bees. I was trying to tell them this in 2020. I mean, I thought they were 20 forces. I thought that's the idea of chaos and bees was, you know? Uh, I said Buffalo. Who said Buffalo? Brian Davis said Buffalo. Flag on the play, Buffalo. <sighs> I don't know what he means. The camera's reversed. You know what I'm trying to say. Joey made me quit. TJ, I made you quit. How did I make you quit? Oh, there he is. Somebody told him you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know Joey if I, I don't know if I'm gonna re- I don't know if I'm gonna read that on there. What? Okay, so here's what I'm hearing. Okay. So, Bees have taken Devin, BJ, Vontae, and Kenny. Kenny Wills. No, I'm reading a message from somebody who has insider exclusive information. If you want information on this scoop, call the hotline right now. 99 cents a minute. We'll give you all the pure chaos roster scoops today. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm a little behind. Yeah, I know. This show is pure chaos. Anyways, but you know what I think they should do? Which one? You know what I think they should do? Both of them? Well, chaos. That's what I said. I think they should go two QBs. TJ and RJ. I'm advocating for my man to make a comeback. For real. Even around anymore? I think he's tied for the most wins of any chaos quarterback in the history of chaos. He's around. He popped up on the page the other day. Did he? Yeah. Right. He beat the Warriors' ass, remember? So, wait, wait. So, is Houston still with chaos? That's a big thing to me, too. I got to – can my inside scoop guy who's watching the show respond? Did Houston also jump back to beats? Or is Houston still chaos? I won't give away who this person of information is. I don't do that stuff. Chaos is upgraded, they say, though. Well, hopefully you guys upgraded to a good service and did not switch to T-Mobile. T-Mobile sucks. Mm-hmm. 
Houston will always be chaos, this inside informer tells me. All right. So we know that Houston has signed a lifetime contract of chaos. But let's get to these teams, man. I'm BSing around. I'm doing my usual stupid shtick. If anybody wants to call in, feel free. We got plenty to go tonight. What are we talking about, Chris Boone? We're talking about you, man. Who's this? Oh, okay. I missed this guy. I haven't seen this guy in a while. Let's get my man Cram on here. Joining me on the show right now, Mr. Cram Sanford. Are you there? If we got you, Amp, wait a minute. I might have my speakers muted myself. Maybe I do not. Hold on. He's connected. It's been a while. We haven't had Zoom in a bit. We've been on, like, my phone again. Like, it's 2017. There we go. We got letters. <laughs> Amp, do we got you? It's very low. Yeah, I said, yeah, I'm here, bro. There we go. There we go. Cram, how you been, man? Like, it's been a nice summer. Good football out there. Like, a lot of fun. I personally went out and enjoyed myself with the eights tournament and the five-man big man in Charm City. Um, I'm just happy to get back out here on the field this Saturday. How about you? Oh, yeah, I'll definitely, man. It's been a long, long off season, for real. Back-to-back -back tournaments in August. Those tournaments, man. I think I played four sports in the August. Literally all back to back weekends. Started from uh, Just Wins. Uh, we had the uh, Jets Baltimore tournament. We had uh, some other tournaments. We started back in the We had the Blick. This uh, tournament out in Gatlinburg. We got the bad. Yeah, dude, it's been a lot of great competition all summer. I wish I had seen Blick. That was the one tournament that I actually wish I was able to make. Um, unfortunately, other fit plans got in the way that weekend. Hopefully next year we'll make it back out there. That's okay, always a fun Buffalo. one. Buffalo? No, it's the wrong. Buffalo. It's the wrong hand. The camera's reversed. Bro. If we had it in the camera. Is that a Buffalo over there, Rob? What's that? What's that, Ann? Is that a false buffalo you just called? Because if that's a false buffalo, then you might be turning your shit up, though. It's not a false buffalo, sir. He definitely had that oh. shit with right hand. Ryan Davis is calling him on. I'm just doing it for Ryan no, Davis. Uh, no, no, no. You got to smash that shit, Ray. No. You got to smash that shit, Ray. I'm just saying. No. I would, <laughs> would never do such a thing. I'm still on camera, am I? Sheesh. <laughs> the TMP don't cut away fast enough. <laughs> uh, so, hey, who you with this season, man? Oh, you know, I'm still with Crab, man. You know, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, so you'll be on Crab Central this year. Okay, okay. I was there last year. I know, I know, but I wasn't at KFFL last year, so I barely remember that season. Yeah. That's another thing. This is, kind of, this is an interesting season. Our returning teams, you know, we got Bees, Chaos, Warriors, but we also got Cramp Central coming down from KFFL to join our league. I'm excited about them doing that. Um, yeah. They're the defending champions up there. So to me, they're the defending champion during this season. Um, x Dogs coming back. It's going to be awesome to see the combination of talent all together in Greencastle this upcoming season. Yeah, I heard uh, the scrimmage. I heard about the scrimmage the other day. I got a call, and um, you know I ain't gonna put nobody's name out there, but uh, pretty much uh, it's gonna be a lot of new talent that's coming in, especially over there with you, Ross. I heard about the talent I got over there at the Warriors camp, and I'm 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 happy for you guys. For for I mean, y'all got my favorite quarterback over there. I'm not mentioning no names. I let y'all boys do y'all own thing. You know what I mean? But that's my favorite quarterback. So you already know, like it's nothing but respect over there. You know what I'm saying? To the Warriors camp, you feel me? Like that's going to be a team that's honestly, I think that might come out, you know, end up in the championship. You know what I mean? Last year it happens, you know, teams where teams don't get together and things like that. So, you know, 
coming back out this year strong with how you guys come back in, it's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be uh, uh, organization for people to want to say, you know what, let's pick back up. Let's just go back over to the Warriors and let's go rebuild what we should have already stayed in and built it. You know what I mean? Like, I know Cam, uh, I know Cameron, uh, I forgot his last name, but I know Cameron when he used to play these guys. You know, him and the other quarterback, uh, those guys, like, you know, that guys played football together for years. You know what I mean? So, like, getting that, getting that back to, getting that back to where, like, you know, you guys started originally. You know, when I first came in in 2016 in the organization, like, back then when I was a Red Knight, I'm not going to lie, like, I wanted to be a, a warrior or go play for the program. I got tired of playing with Andy, especially after all the guys left me the AFN. So, you know, the organization over there, it, it was just more than what it is. It's like, it's like a brotherhood, you know what I mean? It's like the way how men speak, how we, how we carry, you know what I mean? It's a brotherhood over there. It's just more than football, you know what I mean? So getting that back to where you guys originally were, that right there is going to be the key to, that right there is going to be the key into you guys coming in hot this season right now. Right now, you guys are a team to look at, figuring out, okay, well, we already know what x Dogs are coming out with. We know what Killer Bees might come out with, you know, minus TJ. We don't know what Chaos is going to pull out with. Ronnie and Jeremiah, you know, those captains over there, they always got something up their sleeve. So we don't know what to look for with those, with those two teams. But as far as Cram and x Dogs, we're going to look at some of the same faces. We're going to see some new faces. You know what I mean? So I, I'm just looking to wait to see what the competition is for real. real. And honestly, I mean, our first game is against Chaos. I'm thinking not dressing for that game, honestly. Why? It's no disrespect to chaos, but you're not giving me no luck. It's an hour wasted of my time on the field playing chaos. Even with TJ Williams back there. He's a broken play quarterback. Ooh. Okay. He's a broken, he's a broken play. If it's not a slant or out route for him to stand in the pocket, he's not delivering nothing. What is he delivering? A L? Because, I mean, the last few times that I've been checking since he's been the killer B, he's yet to come out of first-round playoffs. He ain't wrong about that. He ain't wrong. That was TJ's wrong. first actual playoff victory as a starting quarterback in nine man. Which yeah. is wild to think about because he's been around since 2016 at that position. And along the way, he's been with – Survivors. Well, actually, I think it might be his second. I double, double check that because he did. St- I don't know if he or Jacob Mitchell started that program game back in 2017. Way back, he might have. It might have been him or Jacob, but I cannot remember it. Oh, you're talking about uh, Jacob that used to back up for Boom uh, and play like the double quarterback option thing when Chuck wasn't there, right? Jacob Mitchell. Yeah, because Jacob and TJ alternated a lot that season, and but Jacob tended to get more of the playing time at times, even though I thought TJ was the better option, to be honest. Um, Jacob makes better reads. I like, I like, I like, I like his, I like his poise in the pocket. You know what I mean? And you, you know, are you hungry? No, I'm good, bro. I want to eat this time. Good. No, I actually right, like Jacob too. I'm still on the road from yeah, Ohio. You, what's that? I said, my bad. I'm still on the road from Ohio. Oh, okay. How is it out there? Oh, man, it's country. The part where I'm at was country as hell, man. I mean, I liked it. I mean, I came out here for business only, you know what I mean? I learned more about the business of uh, customizing what I was doing. So um, I'm definitely going to be bringing that to a city close near you, brother. So definitely check me out. You know, me and boss are definitely going to get this tracker situated out here on the Maryland side. And the good thing about it is the business that we have, no one has it on the East Coast. So we're going to take over for indefinitely. I'm looking forward to this upcoming season and seeing what happens, especially with Cram Central coming down here. And the question is, I got to ask you, Ant, who's the starting quarterback for Cram Central on Saturday? Because I think there's a lot of options that team has that you guys can use up front, including yourself at that position. So ha- have you have you seen the roster? Have you got like a, a like a glimpse of it or anything like that? 
No, nobody shows me roster sheets. Some guys will tell me sometimes, but as for Cram, I wouldn't I've not seen any information who's on there or anything like that. Okay. All right. Well, let me give you an insight. My guy coming from Yaffle. He's he's a Yaffle player. Um I I would say the Wait a minute. Can, I, can I guess? That you say, can you guess? Yeah, can I guess? Yeah, sure. Steve Dunham. Damn, boy. You vicious, yeah, man. Yeah, when you started talking about the Apple quarterbacks, I remember your history playing with Ben Packer on zero and Steve. Yeah, you yeah, you hit yo, you hit that shit on the note. And 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 the reason why I'm gonna be honest, Steve got, got drafted. He got right. Steve got drafted due to his his poise in the pocket, his decision making. You know what I mean? He's not he's not one of those quarterbacks that's gonna take a sack if he has to. He'll he's like a Tay Sosa. You know, if he scrambles out the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield, he can't get it out there. If he can't take off, he'll throw it out of bounds. You know what I'm saying? Save the down, save the yardage. We'll worry about the next play. So I'll Steve be, has great decision making. I'll be honest with you, like that guy can ball. I've watched him play for ground zero over YFL eight man. And he is actually a really good quarterback. He knows how to make the yeah. right reads. Nine man is still new to him, but he has gotten playing time. I believe he was with Gusto land last fall at Capitol classic as a starting quarterback. Yes. Yeah, he was, he was, he was playing for Gusto land. Man. That's usually the nine man team that he usually rocks with. Uh, I've been trying to get Steve to come play nine man since I've been playing with Impact before Impact changed the name to Ground Zero. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, I mean, I think his first actual debut nine man game was actually when he played for uh, Class of York Part One, and he played for uh, Prestige PA, something like that. Uh, PA Prestige or something like that. I think it was Red Eagles. No. Uh... PA Prestige never ran a Clash tournament. They were supposed to be an AC 2020 before COVID hit. I know that was supposed to be Dietz's team, but I don't think that team ever actually saw the circuit. Um, unfortunately, COVID hit right as they were about to. But I know with Steve, he was with Gusto last year at Capitol, which was baptism by fire. He had to go out there in a tough tournament out the gate. And I'll tell you, mm -hmm. I really – there's been a lot of talk over the YAFFL page. When Tay Sosa delivered a stiff arm at Blick a couple of weeks ago, it was an enlightening moment <laughs> in the city of York. Yeah, and right. now people I want the contact. That. They want the smoke. They want to lay a stiff arm on a guy. Yeah, Tay and set the tone out that far. I exactly. ain't going to lie. Tay set the tone out there. And I'll tell you – if they're not going to allow any, if they're going to have non-contact over there, if you all want contact, you all want to smoke, come over here to Green Castle on Saturdays. Yes, the opposite definitely. day is league ball, so you don't miss your YAFFL non-contact on Sundays, and you'll get that nine-man exposure and a chance to work on teams of guys who know this game, who have been around forever, but. Who, have, who have basically have learned so much. Like, I recommend it to anybody over in York who's off on Saturdays or in Hanover. If you're just looking to get out, come to Greencastle. If yeah. you want contact, come to Greencastle. If you like it, you're welcome to stay. Come out and watch. I'm sure Not to mention, I, I was just actually looking underneath for the, uh, the league uh, schedule. There's a lot of free agents that's in there posting – Free agent, wide receiver, quarterback, whatever. Man, go pick those guys up, man. Build your team. Build a chemistry with these guys. A lot of those guys from Yap were loyal. You know, be real was coming an hour, what, an hour, maybe 10, 15 minutes away. Just play a single game down at the KFFL for cramp. Yeah. Half the time, half the time, we were going Iron Man. You know what I mean? So, you got a lot of guys that's loyal. So, and they love balling. You know what I mean? So, if they free, they love balling, hit them up. You know what I mean? These dudes are not taking their time out to sit there and go in the comment box and say, I'm a free agent for no reason. It's, it's for a reason. You know what I mean? So reach out. It's because you don't know anything about that guy. There's a lot of other people, flag pairs that played in that league that do know about that guy. So reach out. Exactly. 100%. Because here's the thing. As Tyler Spencer always said, 
in this garage when we sat on the opposite end back in the day. There's talent everywhere. Right. And people don't realize that. And I'm actually really happy to see a lot of those guys out there in York Hanover starting to get out in this nine man scene more. You know, I got to see uh, Connor Snyder. He went and played for 717 at Charm City. First time he had his nine man start. I'm glad to see yeah. more guys getting those opportunities. I can't wait till I put my quarterback back there for cram. Steve is going to be a problem. You might as well call him the baby boom because he's going to make a D lineman miss. He's going to make you look retarded in that pocket, I promise you. So you better body up. And I think with the personnel that Cram has, this would really be beneficial to Steve. Now the question, who else in YAFFL is coming over? Do we get to see Falkenroth coming over as well? Talking ground zero here. Might as well bring up my guy Falkenroth. Remember, he picked off Matty Ice last year. To get the Wolverines to the chip. I've seen it. I seen it, and they made a believer out of me that day. Welcome, world. I mean, Austin. I would like to have Austin out there for Crab. Unfortunately, it was honestly too late to get him onto the roster. Um, as bad as I wanted him to be out there, I've been trying to reach out. Especially, I mean, guys are really tuning in. Marshall, Steve, these guys have me questions in the inbox about Austin, about playing, you know, hashing out the situation from when I had left ground zero. So with that being said, Austin won't be a part of Cram. Will he be a part of the Washington County family this year for nine man? That's something that you might have to ask Austin. Honestly, I personally couldn't tell you, but, you know, Austin is very loyal to certain guys that he plays beside. And I don't look at it. I don't constantly look at it like it's it's a buddy ball type thing. But you know, Steve and Austin, that's that's offense, offensive coordinator, offensive defense coordinator. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, with those two guys, it's like they come up and they gel well together. You know what I mean? So and Austin's a great fact for him. Like he calls defenses an eight man. He's a defensive captain, and he knows his shit. You know what I mean? So I, I take nothing away from him. It's just unfortunately we just can't have them. I mean, we have a lot of bodies. I mean, we're still trying to wean through some shit. And I, and I expect this cram team to be just as good, if not potentially better than last year. And we get back to the quarterbacks thing here. You talk about the Warriors having somebody that's new to this. I and mean, you look at Cram, they got Steve coming in as well. Um, Killer Bees, they're gonna have Devin from what I'm gathering, uh, the Redmond brothers together on the bees again. You're going to also have TJ on chaos and then with X dogs, Matt Eisenberg. So you're going to have two new quarterbacks coming into this league. One guy who's been a veteran of this for almost 20 years in Eisenberg. And of course, TJ, who's a veteran, Devin Redmond, who is becoming a veteran very slowly, hard to believe, but Devin has been playing quarterback for three years now. He's been – he's about three years old in all of this. It's been that long since he got it to be to that KFFL championship in 2019. They fell short to the Misfits that day, but he has definitely made a lot of strides since. But I'm really excited. Um, so, Chaos, Cram, are you ready? This is going to be a good game. Chaos is going to be a good game. Chaos is definitely going to be a good game. Uh, Steve moves the ball, I believe, by first quarter. I mean, by, by first half. I'm not going to say it's going to be a blowout, but 21-7 first half. We score again coming out in the third quarter. We're going to put their heads down. It's going to be just left up the defense. Offense just won't just have the time to move the ball. I mean, we have dogs in the D-line. I mean. My guy, Pat Freedom, coming back out to make a scene on the debut. You know what I mean? Coming back out of retirement. That's going to be crazy. Wait, who's going to retirement? Be, who, who the hell is going to stop him and fucking Kaiser coming off the edge? No one. Pat and Kaiser. No one. I don't, care. I don't care if your name I don't care if your name is fucking goddamn Michael Orr. You're not stopping either one of them boys. <laughs> That's the 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 edge rushers of Cram will be I one of the biggest key. You could do it now. You could do it now. Oh, shit. Hey, Ross. Yeah, I, I, 
Hey, Ross, I give you my check, my boss about to give me the day for coming out here to Ohio, bro. I guarantee you. I guarantee you they're going to give you they're going to give you five sacks on you. That's 10 sacks total that they're going to give you in one game. Man. So I'll just probably bite my fucking nose or some shit again, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's Man, you still recovered from Jace breaking you. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! You talking about Jace Denim? Yeah, Jace broke Rawls. You remember that TBT a couple years ago when we played the villains? He broke him. Nah, I don't remember that, bro. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. Ross Ross injured his knee that he injured his knee that day, and he never played again. We who, still, beat the, we still beat the villains, though. Don't forget that. We still beat the villains who never won a playoff game, Rezio, just so you know. You guys never won a playoff game. I had to fact check you on that one. Yeah, I don't even think we got a tournament. A tournament fucking win either. I mean, shit, I went down to the BFFA with them a few years back with TJ. I think we went 0-2 and didn't get invited back to day two on Sunday, so... They, they did, they tried, ah, Villains is one of those, hey man, let me just go ahead and bust it out. I'm already here. Let me bust out yeah, the right. villain show yeah, right now. Yeah. You remember that? This, this, is still, this is still one of my favorite jerseys. So like, I still fuck with this shirt by my mom. Yeah, I still got it in my bag. I like the I got, I I that Andy shit. They, I, I, yeah. I washed my clothes in my red night jersey. I still got all, I still got all jerseys. I should have kept my Red Knights jersey. I, t- I took mine back, unfortunately, after I played. I should have kept took mine. Back. Yay! I had to hand it back at the end of the game. I played at Virginia Beach back like seven years ago. That was before you joined the team, I think. Yeah, that was way. Yeah, I think that's yeah. way. Yeah, I, I, I was a Red crazy, Knight bro. before you were. That's weird to think about. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Andy was desperate at the time, man. So you hit up Joey Blaze. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Hey, so you've been around sitting on the sidelines for years watching your dad play this shit, man. So it's only right, oh, bro. Man, I, I tell you, the other day I put up that footage of the uh, game from 97 for my dad's team uh, when they played out there in Marty Snook. And it's crazy to watch that film and just take in how much has changed over the years in this sport. And just seeing how much has grown over time. Like back then, they're running wing tees and five down linemen. Yeah, bro, I was watching that Hammers game you posted the other day. I'm in Ohio watching that shit last night, right? Fell asleep on it and everything. I'm sitting there like, yo, this looks like the same offense that I had to use against Misfits when I played the last year with program and I had to go fucking five down linemen and two fucking receivers. Bro, that was the thing back then. Like, Running the ball in nine man was a lot more prevalent back in the nineties, and that it was just the style of the day. Like, and a lot of teams, you know how you know how eight man's played up in York, where you got the two guards and they can go out to catch if need be. Mm-hmm. I always took that's how nine man was supposed to work when it came to tight ends. So you were supposed to come down with five down linemen, but your two tight ends would be a tackle tight end hybrid. But over time, we've gotten away from those two tight end sets, and we've gotten away from fullbacks and running backs. The Chris Boone revolution of 2017, the spread coming in the nine man and all that stuff changed everything. Yeah. Like there was, I was talking to Doc um, over at uh, Charm City. The one thing he talked about was that style of nine man back then, you used to have live fumbles and everything. Now, that should have changed the game. You put the fumbles back in there or, or, or stripping the receiver as he's running, that shit right there changed the game. It does. And, you know, I remember as a kid when I would watch feeling like they resembled tackle games more than they did flag games at times. And that was the one thing about the sport that appealed to me the most growing up was just seeing the physicality without the pads and without actually guys hitting him. And yet you'd see guys getting laid out on downfield blocks or you'd see all these like guards and linemen pulling and everything else. Like, and I think a lot of teams have forgotten that aspect of flag football, the football aspect where you have to sometimes put a formation that's going to work effectively to mess the other team up. 
people think running the ball was a little stupid, but if you think about it, if you're able to get the blocking and you're able to just lay a hit on a couple guys running down the field, you're going to mm-hmm. wear a defense out very quickly. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, we see it with mobile yeah, quarterbacks right. all the time. Remember Justin Fox back in the day made a living out of that. Uh, that's the same way how I beat Chip Flip Gators my first year with the Killer Bees. I literally had John Regan at fullback. I believe I had Larry at the other fullback, and I think I had Isaiah Kaiser at the running back and went five down line. Literally, and just ran the ball. It was so windy that day, I couldn't even throw the ball. Hand was freezing, had gloves on, hand warmers inside the gloves, still couldn't get the ball up. We just ran the ball. One six, nothing. A win is a win. I'll take it. And that's the thing, though. People forget about it at the end of the uh, People forget that, yeah, it's nice to score style points. Like, yeah, it's cool to have all these yards passing and everything else. But you also got to think about the fact that you can win in so many ways. And there's so many ways to do things beyond just – as I'm playing a clip right here, watching it again. We put this up the other day, but it's just surreal when you look back at how much it's changed. This is 25 years ago now. 25 years ago, this is what the sport was like playing nine-man flag football up in Marty Snook Park in Hagerstown. This was the kids' field. Um, at the time, it was being used by the league for both the, this field and the backfield. So this is wild, man. That was my first season. And I know it says 91 on there. That's the camera setting. They had it on there set for that. That wasn't the actual date. This is 97. Jeez. I know. 97. I was only six, bro. That's how old I was, man. I was playing on the playground behind oh. the sideline you see in front of you right now. Like, I went, back then, it was just all about that. He's talking about the running the ball. We see it just now right there. It's so weird just watching the offense here. It's a nice pick six, I, I remember. Dad's old teammate Jeff Link's on the pick here. That boy run like dirt. Links was fast as hell. He was fast as hell. I will say that. My uncle on there kicking the extra point. Got it blocked. Kickoffs being played. You don't see kickoffs a lot anymore, especially around local play. But yeah, back that's, then, that's, they that's were what definitely needs to score. come back. What's that's that? The, shit that definitely, the kickoffs definitely need to come back. I think so, too, because I think kickoffs, if you got – especially if you have a kicker, why not take advantage of the opportunity? Oh, that's a good catch. Why not take advantage of the opportunity – and if anybody can identify this team here in the black, we still have not been able to figure out who they are. It's one of the mysteries we have. Um, that's a good run. That's a damn good run. But the only thing about this year, I will say, as nice as it is being in Greencastle, I'd rather be at Marty just because I'm watching this mm-hmm. because it's the old field, you know, but y'all going to love this field and y'all going to love my next guest too. He's got a lot to say. He's always got a lot to say though. So as many as he don't welcome to the show. T Spence. <laughs> you. My nigga. What it, what it do? What it do, Grant? <laughs> Shit, what it do? Give me a second. <laughs> I gotta Give get me some good drink. If you have a drink, feel free, Tyler. Welcome to the show. It's been a while. This Zoom ain't too hard to use. Mm-mm. I got some functionality. I downloaded that image. You can play videos and everything on this thing, man. That's crazy. I downloaded that in a jiffy. What's good, Gucci, though? Uh, how's life? Life is grand. Life is beautiful. We need to kick off already, man. We got to get the Saturday morning. Simulate tomorrow and Friday. Let's just get there already. I can't wait. 
Anytime TJ Williams is on Facebook talking shit, I get excited. TJ <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking shit, though. That's what we do, man. That's what ball he, say, he say he's not hit your players up, huh, bro? Oh, I got screenshots sent to the crew <laughs> chat. Oh, man. What yeah. group chat? Wait, 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 nah. wait. What screenshots? You can share this stuff on Zoom. You know that, right? Oh, hey, shit. Hey, Joey, stop that <laughs> shit, man. That Miller Lite. Hey, Joey, stop that shit, man. That Miller Lite getting to you, bro. You acting unusual. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I didn't ask for them. They just showed up. I was just woke up one day and was scrolling, and it was like, this man, this man, TJ's wild. That's all I seen. I said, oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> had, to hold, then, had, to hold the, had to hold the right thumb down on the picture just to say that shit. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I didn't save it, but it's still in there. <laughs> That's crazy. I be take, you know, I take mental notes. I take mental wow. notes. <laughs> you try. I guess it. I guess I guess he like what y'all got going over there at the camp then. If you got to stay your player. Somebody somebody heard something. I don't know. People out here talking. I don't know what's going on. Somebody. <laughs> what's up, Ross? <laughs> what's Sorry, up, I'm Bucko? Yeah. That's all good, man. Bad vibes. Yeah, I man. Like that, I like that quarterback pickup too, though. I like that. I like that. What quarterback yeah. pick up? Who who we got? We're not, we not, bro. We're not talking about none of that, bro. Oh, okay. I'm saying. just I don't know. Yeah, what he, yeah, I don't yeah know. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. I'm quarterbacking for the. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, okay. Okay. 301 back there, then. Okay. Oh, don't forget, he did beat Top Gun last year. And I beat the bees, too, nigga. He beat the bees, too. Top gun wasn't even top gun. Top gun just looked like they was the survivors. TJ gonna say they were. Hey, 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 yeah, hey! They were the survivors last year, but I can't say anything. They had hella survivors on that team. Oh no! Speaking of, speaking of, I got some surprises for y'all this year, and I can't even take the credit. I ain't had nothing to do with it, but there's some weird shit going on in that Bo- <laughs> Boonesboro camp. <laughs> Are your Boonesboro camp? Man, them warriors, that new war, that new warrior order is I don't know, man. So they're probably only gonna show up with 12. They're gonna they're gonna probably show up with 12 and have a good time. Hey, that's what it's all about. Remember, Warriors only had 12 when they beat ADR a few years ago. We had more niggas show up for a scrimmage this weekend than we did a game all year last year. <laughs> that was a big problem with the Warriors last year, attendance issues. They weren't able to get guys on the field. And as a result of that, forfeit time for playoffs, Top Gun's first win, and Brian Swagger got his oh, first win on the Warriors that day. That's cool, though, because I picked up a new stat. That was definitely my first forfeit ever. <laughs> we, we've definitely uh, never seen that before. That shit was crazy. But, yeah, man, like we talked about earlier in the group chat, you know, that season um, was kind of, like, drawn out and scheduled as for, like, everybody was kind of, like, up and down, you know what I mean? Like with the tournaments and just weeks off and the rain outs, like, I don't know. It was, it was a weird season. Like the location was cool. There was some good football. That was kind of how I felt too. Like there was so much happening last spring outside of nine, man. Like we had Easter, XFL, Ocean City, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Memorial Day weekend. Um, you also had AC going on. Virginia Beach was supposed to happen. It yeah, was man, we fun. sucked. We were fucking trash. We had fun, though. We had some highlights, too. I think that's what's crazy. We gave Demons the best game they played all year. That's a fact. That is a fact. And no, no other team um, came closer to beating the Demons than the Warriors. Yeah. Also, you mentioned a nice fun fact. Uh, the other day, we were talking in a chat about uh, we're one of the only teams to beat that long list of teams that have been, you know, yeah. uh, beaten accumulatively some prior to my arrival. After. You want you I try said, to pull out the list of teams I had you, to yeah. you just say because I know I, I already know top of my head who it is. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I know you I know you knew it, and there's only two yeah, teams yeah. that we didn't yeah, that, it was literally one of those like you take a hit and then it just comes to your mind. And I realized that the Warriors are the only team to have beaten at one point or another in a game in Washington County play 
Damn near everybody. Misfits, Broad X, X Dogs, Adrenaline Rush, Killer Bees. Basically, every team no, that's won a local. No, I mean, I They didn't beat them as in. Because the Bees are the second greatest dynasty <laughs> in the KFFL. You remember that? They're the second greatest Jesus. behind the greatest <laughs> dynasty in the KFFL of all time, <laughs> TBT. I like that shit. But no, I mean, I think it's going to be a fun season, like realistically. And this ain't on no, like, this ain't on no troll shit. From top to bottom, uh, all five teams that we've got this year, um, regardless of how you want to look at it, like, you know, whatever nine shows up or the best, you know, full roster on paper, it doesn't matter. Uh, you've got five teams who have played through, like, some really good football. You know, at this point, uh, chaos is established. What they're established as is still yet to be determined, but they've been around. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't fold. Um, they probably could have a couple of times, but they're still there. You know what I mean? And they've got some of the best young talent in the league, if we're being realistic, between Houston and a couple of those young kids. They're pretty much probably the fastest team in the league, and that's like no bullshit. Um, on top of that, you got uh, the Bees. The Bees are guaranteed to have a 35-man roster. They're going to max their fucking roster out. That's what they're capable of doing. Their problem is it's a different mix every single week for the last however long they've been around. And that's been the bee's problem because they don't know who they be. <laughs> well, you know, I had a conversation the other day, like last year when they were trying to make a jump to the circuit while also winning league, there was a four, a three week stretch, really not even three weeks, a 15 day stretch where the quarterbacks were in four different games and Tay, Josh Floyd and Houston. And that's only yeah. 15 days. Yeah, And that's, that's tough to compete with in any situation, even like, Tournaments, a team showing up with that many different quarterbacks, you know what I mean? Over time, yeah, like it's, all it's four just guys have game. radically different styles when that's how they play. All four are radically different, right? And then, like I said, you got uh, you got the X Dogs, obviously, the most veteran squad out there, uh, the most chips accumulated of all the teams uh, that are that are playing this year. Um, always seem to have a talent pool, you know what I mean? Like always still be coming up with new people. Like, they're probably one of the best recruiting teams out there as well. So you don't really know what you're going to expect with them. You got Cram, which are essentially the defending champions um, from the KFFL and some Demons players being able to link up with them as well. So, um, you know, you know they're going to be tough top to bottom and probably play the hardest out of everybody in the league. Uh, that's just a hard nosed football team. That's that's their identity. That's what they do. And they've got athletes and dogs. And now they've got championship um, IQ and experience. And that's that's essential. Like I can't lie to you. That shit is, you know what I mean. You can have the best team in the world, but not know how to win. You know, like it, it's just as simple as that. And then you got the Warriors, which you know reloaded. So five teams. We've been here before. We've had some of the best football ever the last time. And I think this year is going to be a really good fucking season. Uh, upset alert every single week. Um, I don't think there's any easy games. I just don't think there's any easy games on the schedule. So, I, I, somebody, I, I, somebody, I, getting, I, somebody getting fucked up this weekend. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Tyler. I think this is one of the most wide open seasons of Washington. Well, hands down, bro. Hands down. And, it's, it, and that's why I said, like, when you, you know, the fact that there's no real powerhouse you know like no matter how you look at it it's it's balanced you know everybody's lacking something but there's everybody has an edge somewhere you know what I mean you just gotta find it and utilize it if the bees can come out there and figure out a way to get their full roster to click they show up with the most people consistently every week in my opinion chaos like I said they've got speed and a couple of guys now with you know what I mean with some IQ that Hopefully they can just make plays and win some games. They've played in a couple of tournaments now. Like they've got a little more experience. TJ Williams, you know what I mean? They got the superstar for that package deal. So they should be, you know, in good hands, <laughs> however that may play out. Uh, and, you know, um, I did. I did. Right, you didn't say he was the X Factor. That shit would have been drastic. He is the X Factor. TJ is going to help them for real. I hope he's not yeah, the quarterback. He as far I'm as excited. quarterback, yeah, he's definitely going to help him. I'm, I'm excited to, to see the ball who's out the quarterback. 
I don't think he's QB in, man. That's what the inside sources say. He's playing receiver. I think I heard a post the other day that gives out who the quarterback of chaos is. Uh, what did you see, Jerry? I think I saw a comment about how he's starting because somebody else is out of town with another guy. Uh, oh, uh, Pappy Boone? Is that who that was I read? I wouldn't be surprised if Chris Boone makes an appearance this year in the Washington County Flag Football League and attempts to help add a chip to his, uh, you know, his lengthy resume. I think uh, it's good for the league. I think it's definitely good for chaos. I think uh, I don't. I don't think you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of guys, a lot of Boone guys show up. Um, I think if so, it doesn't go good. I think I think they'll be better off if Boone only shows up with maybe like two or three guys, and it would be guys that we probably know, um, and they would be game changers. But it would most likely probably be like linemen um, and one or two skill guys that he's just comfortable throwing the ball to, such as uh, maybe Cannon or uh, you know a receiver, uh, maybe a DB or two, just to help his defense out, and then definitely somebody on the line. So, um, you know, I would I, I wish for it. Um, fuck it, you know, my whole reason for leaving Cram um, at the last minute was because, you know, I just kind of sat back and thought about it. I didn't know anything about any roster moves, like anywhere else, honestly, like the whole league kind of snuck up. And I was like, oh shit, we're about to play football like two weeks from now. And, uh, you know, I talked to a couple of the guys, I talked to Polo and, uh, and Jada, so I was just like, yeah, I'm trying to make this shit fun this year. Like, I'm trying to make it competitive. I felt, I felt like, I felt like Cram had an advantage at that point, and me being with them wasn't going to be beneficial. Like, they've got enough championship experience at this point, and uh, the Warriors was, you know, originally home. We put in a lot of work there, and uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect before I was. I told Sean, I was like, "Fuck it, let's do it." And then I was like, "Oh shit, we got some guys." And then we got some more guys pretty quickly, right? <laughs> coincidentally. So um, yeah, we're going we gonna to surprise some motherfuckers. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. So the league is definitely going to get uh, what it asked for this year. There's going to be a lot of good football. You're going to see some familiar faces. You're going to see some new faces. New place, good football. I'm telling you, it's about to be with love out there. Shit's about to be crazy. As long as we're respectful, you know what I mean? I think we should try to make that a focal point this year, not being uh, – as wild as we've been in years past, because it's a really nice fucking park. I'll be That's honest. Capable of throwing yeah, a tournament. Yeah, township is a lot different than Marty Snook and any other we've been. Yeah, bro. It's it's. There's a lot chill, of money so. invested in that park. There's a lot yeah. of people who go through that yeah. park. And it's, when you it's, pull it's good into, for the league. Yeah, it is because like when you pull into that facility, there's about five soccer fields. You got almost three to four basketball courts. You got three softball fields, a dog park, a hiking trail. So it's not going to be just us every week. There's going to be people out there walking their dogs, going on walks for exercise. You're yeah, going to have people popping. playing softball on the other side. You're going to have people playing this. basketball on the other side as well. Yeah, tennis court, basketball right there. The hiking trail goes the whole way around it, big miles. And it's oh, a beautiful facility. Great it is bring a family too. Exactly. This is a great part to bring your family to because you can yeah. have them go to the playground if they're bored and want to play basketball and go to the courts. If they want to go for a walk in the woods and check out what's around, go ahead. Yeah, it's pretty and it's and it's good in a good area too. So, you know, any any children that are of like, you know, a decent age, it's it would be fine for them to, you know, venture off right across the street to the playground right there. Like it's it's not far off, especially if you got a woman who don't want to, you know, be sitting there the whole fucking time with the kids or whatever. Like, the park is literally right behind the field we play on. There's a basketball court there. And just, yeah, man, I'm excited. I wish we could see the comments. <laughs> yeah, I got a, I, I think they're pretty non-active right now. What do you say? He says he wants to it's, see the comments. Jamie Lagana says, anybody need a coach? Well, it depends. I thought you were retired. The Wolverines need a coach, don't they? Damn. Hey, yo, <laughs> stop that shit. <laughs> I, 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 I thought you were fucking doing Stop that shit. That's my guy. 
Yeah, that's my nigga right there. That's Big Bro, bro. Yeah, nice that's chip. It's still only my fucking shirt. I need a shirt. I need my championship shirt, man. Donna said he doesn't use directly. He's back. Tyler, yeah, let's know if, you, if he can coach the Warriors. No. If he can coach the Warriors? No. If Tyler needs a coach. If, if Tyler needs a coach. He needs a coach. Needs a coach. Like a head coach, a life coach? What kind of coach are you talking just, about? That's what he said. Literally, he just wrote it. I don't know. I need you to come just uh, repeat what I say in the field, which is uh, don't fucking worry about it, do your job. <laughs> don't get beat deep. <laughs> and don't miss the fucking flag. <laughs> That's about it. 15 over 6. Let me say that. Those are, those are about my four golden phrases right there. And then, get, and then get off the field. If you hear that, it's probably not a good day for you. So, Tyler, your impressions of your opponent this weekend, the Killer Bees, a former team. We just, we, just, we just swatted that fucking fly in the scrimmage, man. I'm mad you gave us that niggas week one, bro. We, I, look, if they don't put up 50, I'm upset. No one told me you all were scrimmaging. Boy, we beat the dog shit out of them. Damn. Yeah, I can't even, like, be nice about it because if you ask anybody and they say otherwise, there's a motherfucking fly. It was like 12, 12, some, somebody started talking shit. Zeke got pissed. I said, okay, let's I play heard football. He and he did. I threw him the ball. And then, oh, uh, uh, matter of fact, it was Vontae. It was Vontae. Um, yes, sir. And then, um, yeah. Yeah, I think it was about 40 to nothing, but they didn't want to count the first touchdown when we were doing 10 plays each. Because, you know, that didn't count. But, yeah. I guess the Bees don't like it when fake when touchdowns Boy. happen against them that aren't fake real. Touchdowns. You're about to say, say yeah. Fake touchdowns. Yeah. yeah, fake touchdowns. Tyler Spencer's <laughs> teams always score fake touchdowns. I promise you the touchdowns we're going to score this week are real. What's the spread? Oh, Who wants to bet? I want to bet. What's their quarterback doing? He likes to bet, right? <clears throat> yeah. I'm trying to bet. I think we blow these motherfuckers yeah. out by like four to five scores. I think we only got one game, but the B are getting fucked up this weekend. Yeah, B's versus Warriors, and then B's chaos because B's requested a bye for the week after. So, as punishment, they get two games. There might not be nothing left of the B's to play chaos, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That's gonna be the tough part because, like, if this Warriors team has as good as you guys are hyping them up to be, I mean, we we, look, we only had like fifteen guys at the scrimmage, and it wasn't nobody like super big and strong. We had a couple, mostly our young guys. You know what I mean? Like, just doing yeah, some work. I think it's gonna be spooky. I ain't trying to let no cap out the bag, but it's it's gonna be some good football this year. We can talk about it after week one. I'll tell you everything. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have a recap of that one for sure next week when we do the next episode of Washington County Live. Read that comment too. Whose comment? Hold on, Mote. let me see. It. Moat says, "Who all seen the leprechaun say yeah?" <laughs> oh, let's not call in Tyler Spencer. Tyler Spencer calls in. Calls <laughs> in. I wasn't going to. I figured. I know Jilly's been, been hacking with me for a while now. People wouldn't understand. You know, we, we, we miss you over here. You know that, right? I miss being there, man. It's been a long time. We go way back. People don't understand. We post these videos of the shit we did in Tony's. But that was legendary. Going out to get pizza, Don will tell you. Fucking getting pizza, drinking beer, and just talking football, bro. Like, everything we did, everybody does now, bro. Everybody copies our shit, bro. Everybody does pop up flag football shows. Everybody's, you know. Let's, let's have some real talk here. Process. There's a lot of people who try to be us, but they're not us. I'm just saying, like, we, we, That's I, some we, real were, talk. we were on some real grassroots shit when it came to this media and live streaming and all aspects when it encompasses this flag football shit from being on the field to doing post games, pre games, pre seasons, reviews, yada, yada, yada. Like, some people might have more technology to do it, but I'm like, whatever. And this ain't no diss. I'm just saying, like, you know, now that I think about it, on that hill, boy, in the motherfucking rain, <laughs> South High, we've done a lot of shit, bro. Fuck. Rain, South High. 
God, it's sick, bro. That picture that uh, y'all shared in the group chat the other day of us in Florida. That hit yeah. me, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Ross and Preston, yeah. Yeah, bro, that was lit. So, yeah, I'm going to trade it, man. You know what? I'm excited. You know, five years ago next week, Ross Collins joined us at Tony's Pizzeria. Oh, and shit. We had a conversation in the parking lot with us after about hosting the show from his house. I say, for next week, I say for next week, let's go talk to old Tony and see if we can come back one more time to Tony's Pizzeria. One it's four, either that, four it's either that. Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue, Hagerstown, <laughs> Maryland, 21742. Fuck out of here, bro. Show, so <laughs> Let's go back to Tony's. Well, I, I say it. I'm ready for it. I, the three of us. When? Next, next week. Guys? Next week. Shit. Whoever else next week, out, next week's we'll episode. I'll drive you over. Uh, All right, we're in there. I want to talk to Tony when I work again. Let's do it. Next time I'm over in Town, I'm going to talk to them and see if we can host one more time up I'm there. I'm going to do Wednesday or Friday. We'll probably shoot for Wednesday again. Yeah. The anniversary is Tuesday, but we don't we can't do Tuesdays per the schedule. No, I cannot do that. Yeah, we'll do Absolutely. we'll do we got Wednesdays again. We got Wednesday. Unless we start like what's uh nine. you do your power rankings and all that shit yet? What's that? You do your power rankings and all that shit yet? Let's go ahead. Let's see what the preseason power let's, rankings are off the let's, top. Let's, of my set head. These, let's, let's set these power rankings and predictions real quick, and then I'm gonna go play some Xbox. And all some good, stuff. all good. Let's take a look at the rankings, everybody. Take a look, starting with number five coming into the 2022 Washington County Flag Football League's fall season. It's the Warriors. <laughs> oh shit! You know. What? <laughs> I, I got the Warriors in the basement to start the season. You know why? Yeah, because we just had the worst season statistically ever other than any team that, like, quit before the end of the year. Because we just yeah, ran to the end of the year to quit. <laughs> it's crazy to think, though, Tyler. But the yeah, Warriors man. last year at three and four had a better record than the fall 16 squad, all of 2017 squads, the fall oh. 18 squads. Technically, it was one of the better Warrior teams of all time. Well, that's it's a low measuring standard at that point, but nonetheless, we, we took our we took our wins with our losses, and those who showed up showed up with fucking pride and still gave it to the motherfuckers on the other side of the ball. So, you know, what I mean, I can say what no quitting, my boys, and I respect everyone for that shit. And because of that, <laughs> we got some fucking hunger for y'all this year. So, yeah, I'm cool with five. It's going to be fun. Not for the motherfuckers we playing. <laughs> on Saturday, okay. Got some beast break. <laughs> Number Somebody four. Somebody said they got to drop the killer off their name here real soon. <laughs> they just going to be, they got to take the stinger off from them. They're going to be those bees. got to be the bees. We love the killer bees over here. I love the bees, my guys. Who's number four? It's, it's got to be them or chaos. I got chaos because they're zero and six against the Killer Bees right now. Kyle, Jay, Kyle, you came on the show back in April, swearing revenge, and you guys are right now pulling a Z man. You can't vow for revenge and lose six games. You guys got to get a win on the Bees. You said Kyle. Kyle came on the show and said they're going to get revenge on the Bees, but they haven't beat Kyle. Them. Jason Kyle. Yeah. Kyle oh, okay. Jason, yeah, you got to flip it. Oh, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry. Yeah. He vowed a Z-Man, but just like Z-Man, the revenge is not there yet. Wait, is Z-Man playing? No, he vowed revenge on Chaos last year. Oh, okay, because that would be cool. You know what I just seen the other day? We should Marshall bring back Z-Man. Clip. Ooh, Marshall Bowman back. Marshall Bowman? I thought he was supposed <laughs> to be for Broad Axis quarterback before I was canceled. So who's number three? That makes number three... I just want to know what Sean Motes thinks about all of this. The bees? <laughs> yeah, the bees got to be three. Bees got to be three. Bees are three. Bees are three. Bees are three. Mo like I said, semifinalists in both leagues last season. They could have had a win on Crayon. They were up 12 nothing earlier. And then the collapse in the second half. I believe that was you, Cram, and Sean Parker with two pick sixes on TJ Williams that made a difference. 
It was a fun day. Man, mine didn't count, but man, that was so fun. That was a really nice play. Sean made everybody miss, and it was so nice to just give me the ball and let me run it the rest of the way after damn near running me over prior to that. That was, that was a wild ass comeback, too. Yeah. What? The bees, the bees, the bees are known for having some of the wildest comebacks ever and giving some of them up. It's fucking crazy. They've always been a fun team to watch. The kill the yeah. bees. Like, I've, I've been a part of you know like the highs and the lows of some of the bees situations. Like my goodness, that team lives on a roller coaster ride. Oh my goodness. So, right, so that means that means number two has got to be. Uh, even though the X Dogs had a better regular season, I believe, in KFFL than Cram, uh, Cram ended up doing what they do and beating X Dogs for uh, the championship. So the X Dogs got to be number two, which will put Cram at number one if I'm catching the Blaze Dogs. If I'm wrong, then you're definitely trolling. I got the X Dogs to Cram number one. You know, Cram's going to yeah. be our designated defending champion coming into this year because some way you're in another. Right. You're going to see some demon guys ever there in the Cranley, I do believe. Regardless, Cram's roster was, you know what I mean? Nothing to <laughs> fucking shy away at. So, hey, yo, I just, and, and, and Cram had a TBT vibe for real because several of us played for TBT, and every week we didn't know what 13 was showing up, and we was in the chat like, all right, we got 13, we got 14, but we're going to go stick it to these motherfuckers because they think we ain't showing up. I guess what happened? Probably we went and stuck it to them. It did feel, like, feel like old times watching you guys destroy out there. Yeah, bro. A lot of us was out there hurt and playing both ways. And, you know, like, it's, you know, people would be like, oh, at the end of the day, when you see that championship photo, because more often than not, everybody shows up for playoffs. So when you see a championship photo, you don't really see the work that was put in throughout the year. You don't understand that you got to take like half of that picture at any given time. And that's probably what was showed up with. You know what I'm oh, saying? Remember. Like, Graham also only had eight guys against chaos in that first game at the beginning of last year. Yeah, and I wasn't a part of that. I wasn't there for that. So, you know, like a lot of shit happens in the season, dude. Like, it's I correct you, so we had not, wonderful we had game. Not but I do agree. Cram Central reminded me a lot of TBT, especially in that 2020 season. If you remember, we had a lot of problems with roster numbers that 2020 season. But yeah, man. Some, of the, some of the best teams go through it, man. I think we played against the Browns at the time with eight players, bro, and they had a full roster of 30. On the yeah, they had, we, we, and, we, and we had Ross on Zach Ruby, and Ross held Zach to zero receptions. Ross <laughs> 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 on drop that shit DB2. down. Hey, what up, hey, Moses? Moses playing, hey, yeah, Moses was playing DB2. There he goes. Moses been here the whole time. I'm just creeping. Well, yeah, you yeah, are. Creeping. I wanted to get a fine or something. I ain't even supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, good times. 25 nothing though, we beat the Browns so, that day. So Bro, what's the schedule this weekend? Wait, what, yeah. yeah, I hear you, Sean. I'm just, I'm just ready for football, man. Like that's, I missed it. I know <laughs> all y'all. Your shirt says motionless. Your shirt says motionless. That describes you after football. That describes you after fucking Pokemon, boy. Oh, I know haunted, but no, that, that describes you after a football game, not able to fucking move. <laughs> yeah, I, can I grab that rock, bro? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but for real, like if, I, I don't know if y'all can hear me, see me, whatever. But I'm fucking glad we got the shit back. Like everybody's hyped about it. We got football coming back this week, bro. Like it's, I'm so fucking excited, especially for Warriors. Like going through what we went through in the spring, where we had 12, 13 guys coming out. Now we got guys that like I'm I'm legit like friends with and I vibe with like playing both sides of the ball like dude I'm so excited so like it's that's just I can't thank everybody enough and I'm about to go into sheets potentially rob them at gunpoint to get <laughs> <an MPO. laughs> this is a public post by the way Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Are we live? Oh, oh my bad. Straight to the fans, yo. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Jeez, love y'all. Hey, fuck your team. We'll see y'all Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I hope nobody gets in trouble tonight. <laughs> I'm the only one left. Someone needs to go back and fucking record that right now for just two. Forever. <laughs> Let's get the predictions, Ross. First game of the day, 9 a.m. Killer Bees and the Warriors. Who you got? Um, definitely not the Bees. Definitely not the Bees. All right. <laughs> I want to go with not the Bees either here. I got Warriors by about two scores. I don't know what's going to expect from the Bees. I think Devin's supposed to be there, but not having Bonte is a loss coming into this. BJ, the Warrior Killer, will be there depends, as well. I think it depends on uh, as far as who the Bees have. I think it depends on what Chaos players show up earlier. They're like, oh, we're, oh, I just want to play now. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So, yeah, that's my position. Warriors across the board. Okay. <laughs> Second game of the day, we got Bees and Chaos. This is the seventh meeting all time between these two. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention Warriors Bees. That's the second meeting and nine man third all time flag meeting. You remember, Ross, back in Men in 2020, they got you guys in five man. And then last year, Tyler Spencer went out there and got the win over the Killer Bees. So second meeting in nine man coming up to Warriors and Bees. You got Warriors. I got Warriors. Bees, on the other hand, have a seven have a six nothing lead all time on pure chaos and their rivalry. I got chaotic on this one. I think I got chaos too. I think they finally get the Killer Bees here. Yeah. Like I, unless there's, I, it's hard to tell these personnel shifts, man. We're gonna steal their players right back for the second game. I'm just, I'm just waiting for both sides to turn on both teams and just start their own game at this stage. I got chaos. Just go. It happened. I, I got chaos, but because of the fact that I think TJ is going to come out there, he's going to ball out. He's going to be determined. I don't think the Killer Bees are really ready for this kind of game against chaos. And truthfully, I got chaos winning it. They get their first win in the series. What's the third game? Cram and chaos. I got a series currently tied at one to one. Remember, Chaos beat Cram last year to start KFFL. Tiebreaker. I got Cram. You got Cram. I got Cram too, but it's going to be interesting because there's guys that play for the Bees and then went back to Chaos. Jesus fucking Christ! And they're going to quit again. <laughs> Get back to the Bees. <laughs> Cram Central. I got Cram. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you Saturday. Not me. Yeah, not you. Yeah, that's, uh, I'll be in, uh, close to Westminster. Westminster? Yeah. It's nowhere near Greencastle. I uh, know. It's like almost complete opposite direction. the hell's wrong with you? Uh, I got a game to coach. Why don't you bring your team up to our league? No. Nah, they're not allowed. You have to be a team. 